just imagine you're able to build yourself a debt-free bionic home in one season by using a handmade 3D printer that extrudes malleable stone composed of up to 90% soil found under your feet. Whilst the roof uses 70% less materials due to strength that comes from catenary geometry. What if this home passively heated and cooled itself whilst growing your food by cleaning up your grey water? For further flushing the loose. Hello, my name is Alosha Linov and I'm a bioarchitect. I've dedicated my life merging the greatest natural builders and permaculturists to form our Academy of Bioarchitecture. In our Academy, we are indeed fully autonomous, self-heating and cooling living bio-shelters that nurture the inhabitants whilst raising the vibration of the dweller within. To date, three and a half thousand students invested in our online hands-on video courses in eco-home construction and water self-sufficiency. The uniqueness of my approach is biomimetic tech and forms which are much stronger, cost-effective and pleasant than mass-produced building methods and they blend in into any natural landscape. Inspired by Arco Santi, Earthship Biotecture, Antonio Gaudi and the Venus Project, I'm working on developing a biomimetic town as a factory themed around bioarchitecture, developed to build up other communities and towns. My journey into curvilinear bionic building started a quarter century ago by decorating events with spandex sculptures. Then in 2007, I flew to Mexico for a hands-on flying concrete workshop where I learned to build Gaudi-inspired shells from ferro-cement. Back at my plot, I experimented by constructing a hut and then upscale to a 700-square-foot seashell-shaped structure. After such great success, I flew all over the world learning from masters in bioarchitecture and off-the-water grid tech. I'm hands-on and I implemented all the acquired wisdom on my own land by developing a self-sufficient ecosystem. I also conducted multiple building and water self-sufficiency workshops on five continents. This summer, our academy is organizing a three-week live workshop where you will learn the basics of bioarchitecture and eco-engineering. Together, we'll build the first fully off-grid and autonomous self-heating and self-cooling house in Northern Europe. We'll fuse an Earthship with Cal Earth Hyper Adobe method, all executed in my unique ethnic style. For two decades, I've been testing out various building technologies in different continents and climates. After years of research and development, prototyping, drawing in VR, clay modeling, hundreds of paper sketches, as well as thousands of hours in 3D CAD, I finally crystallized this realistic and buildable biomimetic Templar organism. During the build of this home, you will master the following skills. How to build walls from Hyper Adobe. I will shortly describe this magnificent material. This technique alone will revolutionize your construction method. From this wonder tube, we'll also build two half egg shaped domes that will act as buttresses for the vault. From pre-made acrete bricks, you will learn how to build a smooth bubble dome with round windows. We will also build a timber vaulted roof that can withstand 2,000 pounds per square foot. For a self-contained water system, we'll construct an Earthship botanical cell that will filter shower water to flush the toilet. So what is this magical handheld 3D printer? It is a homemade contraption that prints or flexibly molds mixture consisting of 9% cement and 90% ordinary sandy soil into a sleeve. Therefore, the cost per linear meter is seven times cheaper than brick. If you look at thermodynamic and structural properties, Hyper Adobe is an earthen stone which we can mold like plasticine any shape should you follow the right geometry and building methodology. This material is popular for its economy, malleability and fire resistance. Since I've learned at Cal Earth in California, to date I have used more than 30,000 linear feet of Hyper Adobe in my projects. I have edged garden beds, built terraces, domes and vaults, spiral showers, spiral curls and a bath, a masonry stove, underground and above-ground water tanks, many botanical constructed wetlands, and even a curved wall that stopped a river from flooding my garden. 
Hyperadobe can be plastered beautifully without the use of a stucco mesh. This home is an important prototype that will synthesize the technologies that I've been developing since my training at Earthship Biot Architecture. Fusing bioshelter with a tropical greenhouse to heat and cool itself in cold and overcast climates. With slight adaptations, this design will cool you down in hot regions. After the training is finished, I will build in the heat exchangers and other tech that will systematically transfer the heat from the sun, hot compost, as well as the sauna into the insulated earthen berm. The installation process will be recorded and you will get the raw video footage once complete. In the evenings around the fire and a guitar, we will discuss a detailed plan for the realization of our bioarchitecture town and how you can join into our collaborative, cooperative initiative. If you cannot make it to our training, no worries. You can pre-order the blueprint of this very home with all the tech and it will be ready during the course of the year. And to learn the actual hands-on practical of how to build it, you can invest into our video courses. And thus you vote with your wallet and support our Academy of Bioarchitecture. With my open heart, I invite you to my 8th Bioarchitectural International Workshop. Welcome.